Hey, uh, guys, it's Monday. Just another Monday over here in quarantine. How are you guys doing? <sighs> well, you know what time it is. It's time for that first sip. Mm. All right, let me get everything just right. Okay, here we are. So I'm gonna scroll up if everyone, I feel like everyone's like nailing it with doing the thumbs. There's 72 people, 74 people watching and 70 people with thumbs up. Wow, you guys are all the OG good job gang. <laughs> everyone's here. Everyone's here. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll up and do a few hellos. Linda Pond, who I don't recognize that name. She must be new here, but she was the first person to comment. She said, hi, Kate, I love your live streams. You are funny, warm, smart, and very human. Thanks for being there, especially during this crisis. That's so, so sweet. Thank you, Linda. Um, Cece is here. Polly B44 is here. Hi. Ali said, I drove to Ulta today to get a curbside pickup order. It's crazy to see, to see the empty parking lots. Guys, I've had like a half of a gin and tonic before I started and I don't generally do that. So let's hope this all goes well. <laughs> it should. I'm a Viking. I, I can handle half a gin and tonic, but I'm just saying, woohoo, a little lit. <laughs> just the perfect amount. You know, it's... You know what I love? My favorite time of day is like the sun is about to set and you have that for, you've like, I don't know, you've been kind of productive or maybe really productive and, and you feel fresh. So fresh and so clean. Maybe you've taken a shower, took a fresh, a fresh shower. <laughs> what am I saying? I took a shower and I'm fresh. I'm fresh for you guys. And like you take that first sip and it's like, you feel that tingle and it's just like, it's just like a magical time. It's my favorite time of day. It's like the day's not over, but the night has not begun. Yes, Michelle Lee is here. Lauren Boyles. Samantha Prentice. Hi. Well, hey there, hi there, ho there, neighbor. Carolina of Makeup and Beauty by Caro is here, coming to us from Germany. It's it's late as hell there. Ageless Beauty 416. Hey everyone, this is the best place on the internet. Wow. That is some pressure if I've ever felt it. I mean, I'm not nervous at all. So I mean, like, <laughs> it's fine. Like, I'm I'm like, it's no big deal. Ms. Robbie Lou is here. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. So I'm drinking a, okay, so now we're back. We're back. I'm caught up. I feel pretty caught up. I'm having a gin and tonic. I'm having the same thing I had last time. Like, it's just so good. It's a, a Hendrix gin and tonic. You're probably going to see me drinking this for the next couple live streams if we don't go through it too fast, <laughs> which we might. The tonic's almost gone, let's be honest. Katie McDermott says, I'm still working. This is making it way more tolerable. Oh, I'm so, I'm so glad that wh wherever you work, you can watch this. That's, some, that's a dream. I mean, it's, oh, CC, $50. Hubby has me pissed, take his money. <laughs> CC just spend mommy $50 just to show her husband like, take that. I'm giving our money to Kate, a beauty blogger I don't even know, but I watch three times a week. So there. <laughs> a beauty blogger? Why did I just say that? I've never said that in my life. I've never called myself a beauty blogger. <laughs> this is literally not what I do. I don't have a blog. <laughs> a vlog? Not even that. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Thank you, Cece. That's so, so sweet. So let's see, how many thumbs up are there? Doing pretty good. So if you guys could please, if you are watching, give this video a thumbs up. If you aren't, oh, Better Off Red is here. Ayo. I sent Better Off Red a Marco Polo that she hasn't watched. Sarah, are you going to watch it? 
Are you gonna watch it? Are ya? Huh? 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 You better. I'll come and get ya. Guys, <laughs> there are no thumbs downs. I don't think, has this even happened? I don't think it's happened. This is, this is a, a new day, <laughs> a new dawn. Um, wow. That's, that's quite, that's, that's something else. I don't know what to say. I guess the trolls are just, they're taking a break. They're relaxing. You know what I mean? They need some time to themselves too. Guys, just relax. Just take, we don't take the night off of thumbs downing. You know what I mean? Like everyone needs some self care and this is your night. For the trolls. Let's hear it for the trolls. <sighs> <laughs> it's true i just jinxed us knocking on wood <laughs> is it wood it's an ikea dresser i think it's wood um lauren is asking if this is a dress this is actually a top from tarjay that i ordered just for this live stream because <laughs> where the hell else am i gonna wear it when i go out i look like a straight up hobo just hobes hobes mcgillicuddy walking around town okay but i like to dress up for y'all and this is like a nice little blouse, a little blouse stitch. Thanks, thanks guys. Jerry says it's a very pretty top. Thank you. <sighs> okay, so <laughs> Rebecca Schmierer, hi, I'm late, what did I miss? Not a damn thing. That's right, you show up late and you, you're guaranteed that you haven't missed anything because it's just been nonsense. You've missed me drinking this drink, Rebecca. Um, okay, so as we all know, you know, I'm gonna wait for a few more people to get here before I do my, all the things that I do, right? Oh, Carla Cox is here. Mm hmm. Okay, so I'm getting a lot of uh, comments, questions about my nail color. Um, and oh, shoot, can I pull it out here? Let me see before I don't want to ruin my setup. It's very precarious. It's very precarious. Let me find it. It's in a drawer. Damn it. Oh, here it is. Whew, that was close. That was really close. I almost didn't find that nail polish. Oh, is this crooked? Am I crooked? No, no, no. We're great. We're great. So this is, I have been asked about this so much. So... <laughs> Lauren says no, but I feel crooked and I can't, I can't help it. That's better. So this polish is, I don't have an affiliate link for it, but like, whatever, it's okay. I just want you to know about it. I, I did forget to link it. I, I've been linking it in my last three videos. So if you just like gots to know now and you got to get, the, but I'll just tell you, it's this brand called I i l n p i found them through instagram i'm obsessed i may or may not be featuring this in a favorites video because that's how obsessed i am with it i have had this it, it's they i've talked about it before but they do all these like oh, it's so blown out jeez. they do all these like duo chromes they do metallics duo chromes i think they do normal nail color as well I have had this on for, I want to say like a week. Guys, I'm not ever buying another nail polish again. Like, and I'm not even kidding you. Last night, this is this is what I was thinking about in bed. I was like, I need to throw out all my nail polish. Like it's taking up so much space because I'm only going to get this. Deep Thoughts by Kate the, Great, <laughs> Kate the Great Beauty in bed. Wow, that made me sound really, really vapid. Like just a noodle head. But I'm serious. It's amazing. I have uh, two coats on and then I have like a base and a top coat, like a clear top coat. And then I just went in and put it another coat on the other day. I'm doing my dishes. I'm doing hard labor. I'm going to the coal mines and it, <laughs> I'm not, but it hasn't come off like in a week. There's not one chip, not one nothing. Okay. So if you, I don't know, I don't like, I'm blown away. Every other nail polish is nonsense. And I'm just gonna say it, go and get it. 
I have five other colors in here that I'm gonna like, I'm just doling them out. Cause I'm, the, so the color's called Free Fall. It's called Free Fall. I've never had a nail polish not chip for this long, like just a normal nail polish. Um, you're like, when is she gonna stop talking about nail polish? Jeez Louise, this is so long. But like, get it though, get it. Especially for quarantine, cause you know, you probably can't have your nails done. It's so good. And I was like, well, should I change my nail polish today? I thought it'd be fun to change it. But then I thought, well, no, because it hasn't even chipped. Like what a waste. I might as well wait until it's at least chipped. Whew, that was a diatribe about that, wasn't it? Go and get it. Everyone go. Run, do not walk. It's called um, ILNP is the name of the company. Lori, my husband is cracking up. I told him, gotta go watch Kate the Great having a cocktail. Neither of us drink anymore. Thank goodness, because we'd just be drunk 24 seven during this pandemic. <laughs> Lori, what's wrong with that? <laughs> I respect your decisions. I respect, I respect you. Leslie Mills, so pretty, I almost ordered. Now I will, they have such pretty colors. Like seriously, just get on it. Just get on it. Mm hmm okay. What is this person, sorry. Stephanie Rogers, question for the group, $15 to spend at Ulta. What do I buy? I have no nails. Are you asking like what nail products you should, don't spend your money at Ulta, go, I just told you, you gotta go to ILNP. <laughs> get, get one nail polish. Choose whatever is your favorite and just like go in hard because it's worth it. Um, guys, so if you are here, thank you for being here. Please give this a thumbs up. I would so appreciate it. I know not everyone realizes it, but it really helps my channel out in ways that you can't imagine. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. But it really does though. Please do it. Also, subscribing helps. I know there are people out there who aren't subscribed. <laughs> I know it. I know it because I look at my analytics and I know it. Okay. I know they're the people who are like, I don't even know what that means. Like, I don't, I don't, this is what I think about people and subscribing. I think that a lot of people think that they're going to be like inundated with like annoying notifications and stuff. You're not like if you subscribed and then you, you're, it's just when you go to YouTube, you're just going to have a subscription page that's filled with things that you chose unless you click the notification bell, which if you do that, I'm not mad about it. Please do that. You don't have to. That's the only way you're going to get notified. Other than that, you, there's nothing to lose by subscribing other than helping the channel you're watching and not spending a dime. Do it. Do it. Do it. My dad is here. Okay, just just seeing what I missed. Jamie K, I ordered four nude polishes from Lights Lacquer. F fingers crossed it's a good formula. Fingers crossed. Audra at home is here. Hello to Audra at home. Thank you for being here. Okay, so also what I wanted to say is you can like this video. You can subscribe. You can use my affiliate links if you really, really dig on something. You can also send a super chat my way. Everyone loves a super chat. What can I say? Okay. Yes. And sharing is like, sharing is like number one, like share the shit you love. Okay. If you love something, take like 15 seconds and share it to a social media platform because it really helps. You can also, yes, yes, Lauren, Lauren, you can also buy my merch. You can do that as well. You can, okay, what is a super chat? See, this is, this is why I talk about it. And everyone else isn't probably like, oh my God, here's the part where she talks about the super chats. I'm going to go feed my dog. Um, 
a super chat is at the bottom of this chat you can see like a little dollar sign and you can send like a cute message or a sticker and you can send donate money to basically support my channel um which is amazing and everyone loves it don't don't lie to me everyone loves it everyone loves a good super chat okay but youtube does take a 30 percent cut so if you don't want that if you know wani and you want all the money to go around to go to my channel and just like roll around in it in a bathtub afterwards that's not how it works but if you want that then you can also venmo or paypal me and i will i'll get all the all the dough <laughs> and my venmo and paypal uh, randy who's my moderator and my boyfriend will put it in the um chat it's right there it's right there and you can also find it in my description box but also you don't have to send me anything okay okay cool Okay, so we talked about what I'm drinking, a Hendrix g and I like how everyone's friends with my parents on here now. <laughs> it's not creepy at all. Not at all. Like, not even a little bit. It's good. No, I like it. It's good. It's good. Yeah, yeah. Keep, keep it up. Oh, did Allie say something that I missed? I don't know. Oh, Kate, I noticed Jen Loves Reviews has an elite group that pays $1.99 a month to get a cute little heart by their name when they're here. I'd be willing, just saying, that's so sweet. I think, Allie, are you talking about, it's like a subscription or a membership service? Um, is that what you're talking about? Because I actually looked into that and you have to have, in order to do the membership for your channel, you have to have 30,000 subscribers. So everyone get me there. So this is your job. This is your homework. Get me to 30,000 <laughs> by sharing. And then you can <laughs> you can get a membership. Mhm. Mm okay. Joan M, I'd love to make a Hendrix g and but I'm going food shopping after this. Joan, who says you can't do both? Those are not mutually exclusive, okay? You can do both. <laughs> do you like what an enabler I am? You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm here for you guys. You know what I mean? Like, I'm here. <laughs> Maricela says, we have homework, gang. Yeah, that's right. I'm putting you all to work. I'm putting you all to work. <laughs> My mom is here as well. Hi, mom. Okay. Yesterday was Mother's Day. So happy belated Mother's Day to all the mothers that I didn't get to, to you know, say that on the day. Oh my gosh, Paula B44 sent a super chat. ILNP stands for I Love Nail Polish. Oh, that's good to know. I didn't know that. Love you, Kate and the gang. Okay, well, that's very helpful. She did the research I didn't do. Paula, thank you so much for the super chat. Also, I do love a hot pink super chat. I, th I think it's interesting, like certain amounts get you certain colors. So I guess $50 is, is hot pink, which I'm not mad about. One of my favorites. Mimi Micro said she finally got her Sephora order today. Yes. Oh gosh, it's it's really taken some time, hasn't it? Okay, so today I am going to be doing a face of Fenty. I don't own everything from Fenty, okay? I just don't. But I, I definitely have, you know, a substantial enough amount to, um, you know, do a relatively full face. So we're going to do it. And <clears throat> okay, we're gonna do it. Sorry, I was just checking to see. Oh, you know what I do have? Easy cheese. And I forget how to do this. The last time I did this, my grandma used to have Ritz crackers and we would do this. And it was my favorite thing. I just thought it was so exciting and fancy.
Did the did they change the formula? <laughs> the formula. The recipe? It's a little um grainier than I recall. Damn it. God, I used to love this. Maybe I need to get the American. The American. This is the this is the cheddar. Did I get the wrong kind? Was it the American? God, I can't even do it right. Mm. Did I get the wrong kind? I got the wrong kind. Okay. I'll, I'll go back. <laughs> My dad, aerosol cheese is fancy. Okay. Dad, I was like eight. Okay. <laughs> and it was delicious. And I love food. So it was very exciting to me. I really, oh, it's the American. Oh, I'm screwed up. Damn it, I wasted like $3. Okay, well, I'll go back, I'll go back. Um, <laughs> Kathy, Kathy Sumbles, your tastes are probably better now. That's fair, that's fair. I just really wanted it to be epic. You know what I mean? Like it wanted, will Randy eat that? No, this is something I haven't told you guys because it's a source of great shame. But I'm gonna share it with you. Randy doesn't eat cheese, okay? He doesn't eat cheese. I don't want to. I don't want to talk about it too in depth because it does upset me. Um, it's appalling. He's not like. Let me just answer all the questions. I know. I know. I know. I know. Don't attack Randy. I know. He. He is not lactose intolerant. He just doesn't like it. And which is nonsense, actually. He's in the other room and I'm just talking about him like he's not there, but it's nonsense because there's so many kinds of cheeses, okay? There's so many different kinds, but it's, you know, it's been a long road and we, you know, he can do pizza with a light mozzarella. Okay, um, he can do a light cheese, which I'm also like, well, if you can do a light cheese, then why? That's ridiculous. Like you're just being you're being childish. You're being silly. This is nonsense. This is held over from childhood. Um, but that's I can't like so anytime like cheese is my life. Okay, like cheese is my life. And it's like really upsetting. But it really is my life, though. And so um, yeah, that's all. That's all. <laughs> sorry. I know. I know. There's a handful of fellow cheese haters in this chat. I'm living for it. Oh, there, there are cheese haters. Okay. Oh, my aunt. My aunt is like no lasagna. I don't know. Do you, will you eat lasagna? No. Nope. Okay. I'm not gonna ask him any more questions because I'm getting re upset. Yvonne, sorry, Randu, but you are a weirdo. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Lola Lee. Oh, she's putting us, this is a silver lining comment. That's great that you don't have to share your cheese. Nothing more upsetting than going to the fridge and it's all gone. That's such a positive outlook. Thank you. But sometimes I do want to share my cheese. You know what I mean? Like, I want... I want to share the experience and it's just, and then it's me. And then I'm just eating all the cheese, which is just not good, but okay. I mean, it's just something I've accepted. Um, Amber R don't pick on Randy. It just makes him an excellent charcuterie board partner. <laughs> yes. He he'll eat the meat, but not the cheese. Charcuterie. <sighs> anyway, that's all to say, it's a tragedy. Um, okay, I, I, we've gotten off topic. Um, I, put the, I put this away. I'm very, I'm actually like really, really upset that the first time I bought this since I was, like had this since I was a child and went out on a limb and bought it and I, it's cheddar. It's the wrong, all right, well, what are you gonna do? Sarah, my friend Sarah Kleinsmith is here. Yeah, but tell Randy Easy Cheese isn't cheese. No, that's even worse. That's even worse. Like he, like he is just horrified. He's horrified by me. He thinks I'm a monster. 
And yes, I did eat this with Michelle Wong. Um, I definitely, Michelle and I will eat all the fake things. Like I'll eat all the canned meats. She'll eat all the orange fake cheese and I'll eat it with her. Like we love that together. So that's, we have, that's one of the things we have in common. Okay. Teresa Byers is always the one to get, <laughs> I love how Teresa's always like, okay, let's go. Like, all right, let's just get this show on the road. Here, craft singles. Oh, thank you. Okay, so I, sorry, we're not, we're not done. I actually got some craft singles. I'm, I'm sort of like, I think it's the quarantine. I'm like, let me discover, rediscover all the like preserved, um, sort of chemical 1950s things that I loved as a child. And one of them is a craft single. I was <laughs> watching Michelle Wong, Marco Polo me, and she was eating craft singles. She got like a 64 pack and my mouth was watering and I went straight out and bought myself some, some craft singles. So I'm not going to have them right now because the easy cheese really did me in, but you know, maybe later. Okay. Let's get going. Teresa Byers needs us to get the show on the road. So, and we really do. We really do need to. So Fenty Times, Fenty Time. I have this teeny tiny bottle that I haven't even gotten through, which is the Fenty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. And I'm gonna use it right this very moment, right before your very eyes. I actually don't even know how I feel about this. <laughs> I think I used it once. Amber R, plastic vomit between um plastic. Oh, excuse me, Amber R, don't yuck my yum. <sighs> anyway, snobs, snobbery. <laughs> it's okay, I'm a snob about some things too. It's fine. I mean, you know, I have some opinions. I don't know if you've noticed. Oh, Tara Breeden, we wouldn't have to, we wouldn't have to get going. I just like talking to you all. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Shaza BT. Wow, I love that handle. Oh my God, Kate, you don't have your foundation on. I assumed that your base was done. No, girl. Nah, girl. It's not done. We not even, we haven't even, we've only just begun to live. I don't know the words. I should. I love Karen Carpenter, but I don't remember those words. Okay, so this is the Fenty Beauty. <laughs> Can I talk? What's happening? Am I having a stroke? The Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Long. This is like their first foundation they came out with. I'm almost to the bottom of the bottle. I am going to mix it. I'm going to mix it because, you know, I got to. I got to mix it just a little bit with my um, Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter because it's a little, um, you know, it's a full coverage foundation. So just going to mix it here real quick. I will say about, I like the Fenty foundation. It does dry down super fast. I find when I mix it with something like that, it doesn't dry down as much. Sarah Kleinsmith, there was a great CBS Sunday morning segment about how we are all buying our favorite childhood junk foods because of quarantine stress. Oh my God. I'm, I'm just a number. I'm just a pathetic statistic. Okay. You pull out a Pull out a mirror here. Toss is here. Hey. I can actually do 
my foundation for the most part, just looking into my camera. So I'm gonna do, oh, Sherry Ford, $75. Still want the Don't Yuck My Yum merch. Sherry, damn, girl, thank you. Oh, Sherry Ford comes through, man. Sherry Ford, who are you? Who are you? It's a mystery. I love it. You don't have to answer that, Sherry. Like, like no pressure. But it's always going to be, you know, a little bit of a mystery. Thank you for the Venmo, Sherry Ford. So again, well, I actually didn't say this. So everything I'm using is linked in my description box. And I also link the shades. I list the shades. So you know what's up. Not that you have my exact skin tone, but if that's helpful to you, that's what I do. Cece, damn Sherry making me look bad. No, Cece. No. Lori S. Fenty or Glossy A blush? Which should I buy? Wow, I'm getting this. I'm getting that a lot. I don't know. Uh, you know, I mean, if you made me choose, they're just different, you know? Like, I would say, first things first, look at their shades and see which shades speak to you. Because maybe you'll go to Glossier and you're like, I'm not really into these shades. They're all great. I, I mean, I love the cloud paint. It's like an OG. So I guess if I had to choose, I'd say that. But it's really tough. It's really, really tough. Carolina is asking me what my skin type is. I am um, normal, just normal. I guess it's a combination or something. I don't know. It's just normal. Stephanie Rogers, first things first, you are the realist. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you, that's very nice. I, I enjoy that compliment, it's a nice one. Kristen Clay Parker is here. Okay, so I think this is padded in, but let me just check here. Yes. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Perfect, perfect. Guys, I had to tell you the, um, I wish I had the, oh, here I do. I do have it. I got this sample of, I'm trying to grab it. This sample of the Tata Harper. I've never had anything of Tata Harper's. The Tata Harper illuminating eye cream with diamond radiance. And I put it on before this live stream. And I have to say it was like, I don't know. It's like angels descended and just like, just got up all my under eye and just did good things to it. Cause it was honestly, it was like, just, ah, it was so good. I don't know what's in that. What kind of wizardry is in that? I'm sure it's spency, but I'll tell you what. Wait, Heather, something's happening. Heather Willis, has anyone had the new tiramisu Oreos? Heather, of what madness do you speak? Are they good? That sounds delicious. Maybe next time. Everyone has completely forgotten about Fenty and is now focusing on tiramisu Oreos. I get it. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna, oh, I just threw my, okay, great. Cool, I just threw my, um, <laughs> My towel and my drink, that's that's sanitary, isn't it? That's, we're gonna drink it anyway, it's fine. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to concealer. And I, I thought, oh, I don't have a Fenty concealer and I completely forgot about my Fenty match sticks. So this I got quite some time ago when I, when, when these first came out, I got the match sticks in linen. And this is actually like a really great concealer that I've, like I said, completely forgotten about. That 
That's good. Like, why haven't I been using this? Like, what have I been doing? <laughs> Completely forgot. I wonder if, Stephanie, I wonder if age matters on the Fenty versus Glossier. Um, what is, in what sense? Um, I don't think age matters with either one. Um, Glossier, if you watch my Glossier live stream, I talk about how that company is really doing a disservice to the over 30 crowd. <laughs> And in over 30, because they have those people thinking that they can't wear their product because they're not like 22. And it's, it's, it's a damn shame because everything is perfect for maturing skin that they make. So that's, that's kind of deceptive. I don't think they're trying to be deceptive, but it's deceptive, their marketing campaign. And um, Fenty is also sort of like youthful, right? But like they make some great stuff. So I, I don't really believe in like, you can only wear this like this one brand, if you're this age, like that's stupid. That's not true. <laughs> so, um, Shaza BT, I got the Fenty cream blush on your recommendation and it's perfect. I'm freaking ancient and I'm freaking ancient. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. No, it's great. Well, we're going to use it today. So get excited. Sarah Goldfarb asked, what perfume am I wearing? Well, I don't normally wear perfume, but this is what I talked about in my last haul video. Um, I'm wearing this Nest Sun-Kissed Hibiscus. It's so good. It's like warm and earthy, but also like a little bit floral. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. So if you're, if you want to try it, it's linked in that other video. Check it out. Claire Collins, I'm 52 and like a lot of Glossier products, Beauty marketing is always sexist and ageist. I'll use whatever I like and want. Yeah, that's right, Claire. Yeah, Claire. Woo! Claire has it right. This is like, there are no rules, okay? There's no rules about colors. There's no rules about brands. There's no rules about makeup. There's no rules. That's the thing where people are like, like I have a couple friends who you know, were insistent that they could only wear certain colors. Like they have like a, a palette, right? And they're like, they have to stick to that palette. That is bullshit. <laughs> that is actual snake oil that someone has sold you from some 1950s old fashioned times. That's just not true. You can, I, I, I don't have like a color I can't wear. People are like, oh, what's the color, you know, that you just, just doesn't look good on you. I don't know. I wear them all. Oh. I just don't, sorry, I don't abide by those rules. I just don't. Um, okay, so now, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a little bit of that concealer around my nose, because I feel like that tends to get a little red. Christian Milano, I'm 59 today. Oh my gosh, is it your birthday, Christian? Happy birthday. I think it's more about the application, less is more. Absolutely. I feel like most makeup is just about the application. Like, yes, great products are amazing and they do make a difference, but if you know how to apply it, you can wear anything. I mean, you know, almost anything. Yes, happy birthday. That's awesome, Christian. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, dear Christian. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Yes, queen, yes. Katie Wetzel is here. Katie Wetzel. 
is one of those people I was talking about who at one point, I don't think she would mind me saying this, thought that she could only wear certain colors. And I think I've convinced her otherwise. I think I have. I mean, I don't wanna, you know, pat myself on the back, but she said truth, truth. <laughs> okay, let's take a drink for Christian. <laughs> Katie always catches me when I'm singing happy birthday to someone and I swear I've only done it twice. <laughs> Somehow she always comes in during someone's birthday. It's like, it's like a calling. Okay. She probably waits quietly until you do it and that's when she comes in. <laughs> She's waiting in the wings until I do it. Katie said, I'm called by your siren sounds. Yes, yes, that must be it. <laughs> Um, Vivian Rivera, what do you put for your under eyes? They look so bright and smooth. I have creasy and dark under eyes. Well, I have several things, but I just mentioned what I put on my under eyes before this. And I'm here to tell you it's bougie. It's bougie as hell. Look at this like busted. What kind of beauty YouTuber am I? Like I pulled out this here, this sample. It's half used. It's torn at the top. Go get yourself some. But really, I use this twice and both times that I've used it, I'm like, I might have to get this because this is bananas. Bananas. <laughs> okay, so and then and then I used this just to read just to clarify, I use the Fenty um, matchsticks in linen um, for my under eyes. Okay. Now we're gonna do just a little bit of a base eyeshadow base. This is the Urban Decay um, Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Because I'm gonna use a bronzer for my eyeshadow. I'm gonna use one of the Fenty bronzers and I feel like this will, you know, it'll just stick more and be more pigmented. Like if, I will say, if you don't have an eyeshadow primer it sounds like nonsense, but it's actually not because when you use it, your shadows wear so much better. They're so much more pigmented. Laura Presley, since watching you, I've upped my skincare game. Oh, that's awesome, Laura. Okay, I'm just checking out the comments here. Okay, great. So I'm gonna just put these things away as I go because, you know, working with limited space here. Okay. So now we are going to move on to cream blush. This is what we were talking about. So this is the, wait, do I have the right? Yes, okay, so I have two cream blushes from Fenty. I'm gonna get more because I do love them. Um, this is Strawberry Dip, Strawberry Dip, and it's, I don't know if you're picking this up. It looks kind of red from where I'm standing in the camera, but it's actually this gorgeous sort of pinky red like coral situation it's just perfect for summer time so and i think in the last live stream where i used the cream blushes i used these the uh daiquiri dip which is bright red so we're gonna use this it literally looks like i have strawberry on my cheeks just call me strawberry shortcake <laughs> I know, I know you're like, wow, that's really pigmented. Well, we haven't said anything yet. And this is the only blush we're using, so. Is strawberry, does strawberry dip lean more towards warm? Hard to tell on camera, Grace is asking. Um, I mean, it's definitely warm. I mean, coral is warm. It's, it's not cool. Like they have cool tones as well. Like really, really pinky purpley cool tones, so. Um, but I love this. 
And I'm not a cool, like, see, here's the thing. Case in point, I have cool pink undertones to my skin. So people would say, oh no, you should never wear anything warm. Look what I'm wearing. This is warm. This is warm. This is warm. No rules. I'm just saying, like, I don't believe in that shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. I just don't believe in it. So get whatever, whatever color you like. And as Tim Gunn says, make it work. What am I missing? Jeez Louise. Better off red. I'd say it's more pink than coral, but that's a goblin tone complexion. Yeah, it is. It's very, yeah, it's pink. It's pinky red, pinky red, but it's definitely not cool toned. I think that looks even. This, the right side is a little bit more pigmented. Okay. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna tone it down. Just hold on a second here. Kirsten Clay said, I'm warm and I love bikini martini, which is very cool. Well, there you go, there you go. Okay, so now I'm going to set this. This side got a little intense. That's okay. Um, I'm going to set this. I'm going to use, has anyone used any of the Eau Naturel? Nope. Nope. Can't respond. To, I, I can't speak to that because I haven't. Um, Yvonne Cusmano, guys, I'm looking for suggestions on how to celebrate my big 60th birthday in 17 days. I'm so bummed I can't be with family and friends. I need your help pretty please. Looks like people are really weighing in. Um, so that's good. If I think of something, I'll let you know. I'm not good on the spot like that with like events. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, like just like have some drinks and like sit around. I'm terrible. Okay, so this is the uh, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Files filter. I don't have any of the Fenty um, powders or whatever. That's okay because we like this or I like this one. Haas said, thumbs up, click it. You are here, you like it. <laughs> yes, there are 297 people watching and 219 people have thumbs up. If you would so kindly throw this video a thumbs up, it really helps. And I'm also going to set my under eye with this. And just do my lid as well, just to kind of, there we go. Okay, perfect. All right, let's take a drink. Let's take a drink. Guys, you know what I, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have me a craft single and I'm going to tell you about what we watched recently. So I keep a running list of things that Randy hasn't seen because there's not much. He hasn't seen Guys and Dolls. When we discovered this, because we've been watching Hollywood, which I'll get to later. And it like kind of made us think about like, you know, that era of movies, right? You never seen it. So we watched it. And it was so so fun to watch. Um, I did Guys and Dolls in college. And it was, it's still to this day, I did Adelaide. 
and it's one of my most favorite shows of all time. I know that it's Sarah Betteroff Red's favorite musical, period. Period, because we talked about it. Better off Red said, I need to know what Randy thought of Guys and Dolls. Randy, what'd you think? I really liked it. You really liked it. You really did. And it was really fun for me to watch because I haven't seen it since I was like in college. You know, so it stands up, man. It I stands up. Two and a half hours, a little on the long side. Was it two and a half hours? Yeah, two and a half hours. Wow. It flew by though, but yeah, that's a little long. I'm not a huge golden age musical person. I'm just not. Um, but that one is the shit. And other than the ending, which is the dumbest thing I've ever seen, the rest of it is great. <laughs> great. It's great. And, um, so I yeah. forgot about the ending. That's really bad. The ending's really bad. Kim McConnell says, sit down, you're rocking the boat. Exactly. So, um, basically, it was interesting to rewatch because we sort of delved into Wikipedia. And because I, you know, I was telling Randy beforehand, I was like, so just... <laughs> Because we had watched Don Juan DeMarco with Marlon Brando. And he knows him from, you know, The Godfather and, of course, all these, like, epic movies that he did. And he's like, how is Marlon Brando singing? And I was like, just how you think it is. <laughs> exactly how you think. <laughs> the thought in your head that you're having about his singing, it's that. <laughs> it's... Yeah, it's really bad. It's really, really bad. Um, and, I like, I remember it being not great. But watching it now, I was like, wow, that's really exceptionally terrible. Like, bad in a way that I'm like, almost speechless. I'm like, wow, this, like, if that happened today, he would have been, like, panned. But you look back at the reviews, and it did just fine. So I think everyone was just, you know, into it. They were <laughs> just, Marlon Brando couldn't do anything wrong. He looked amazing, yes. Kim McConnell, Marlon Brando looked good, though, yes. He, he did. He did. He looks great. Um, but he can't sing. And so basically, I didn't know this. So Frank Sinatra plays Nathan Detroit. And, uh, and Sky Masterson is played by Marlon Brando. And so Nathan Detroit is sort of like the character -y role, right, with Adelaide. And then the leads are Sky Masterson and Sarah Brown. And Frank Sinatra was very, very, I did not know this. He was incredibly upset he did not get the role of Sky Masterson. Like this was, this was a tragedy, you know. And he was really vying for it, didn't happen. And so he got cast as Nathan Detroit, which I'm gonna be honest with you is like a way better role. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, do that, it's better. Right? Okay, so while I'm talking, I'm gonna just like, no, no, nope. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bronze. Oh, but I'm coming back to what I was saying. I'm gonna bronze with the Fenty um, Sunstalker Instant Warmth Bronze in the shade Shady Biz. Shady Biz, okay. So basically, Frank was pissed and they did not have a good relationship on set at all to a point where they had to communicate through intermediaries. Like that's how big their egos were. I don't know how anyone got through the door of that studio with their puffy ass heads because Marlon Brando and Frank Sinatra were just, you know, they're having a hard time. They're having a hard time. Um, and so basically, you know, Frank Sinatra was really upset because Marlon Brando was obviously not a singer. And Frank Sinatra is, he's like one of the best singers, right? Just a voice like Butta. And Sky Masterson is like the singy role. So they wrote some, some, uh, some songs for the show, for the movie that don't exist in the musical, the stage version. And one of them was written for Frank Sinatra. It's called Adelaide. And it's one of the, my favorite, my favorite songs in the movie. 
it's like this perfect like it's not an up tempo it's not a ballad it's sexy it's like also an ensemble it's just great and you i know the reason that song exists is because when he didn't get offered sky masterson you know his agent went in and was like okay fine he didn't get sky masterson but you need to write a whole song for frank so he can like sang and so that's exactly what they did <laughs> and he sounds great on it i even wrote i i made some notes here of some like interesting interactions apparently it says many this is what i got from the i think it was the imbd trivia page many years later marlon brando said of frank sinatra quote frank's the kind of guy who when he gets to heaven is going to give god a hard time for making him bald shade shade now say it in your best marlon brando i can't do a marlon brando i don't we can't i can't do a marlon brando impression but like what i will say is Marlon's probably not wrong. Like, Frank was a dick, and so was Marlon. They both deserve what they got. <laughs> no, I take it back. They deserve what they got. Like, amazing careers where everyone just, like, just couldn't get enough of them. I don't know. Anyway, the point is, I roll. <sighs> just, like, getting all the roles and all the songs and all the parts and all the things. Just all your life, but you're like... Oh, that one time I was Nathan Detroit and had three songs. Oh, I curse the day. <sighs> Must be nice. Must be nice. Must be nice being a straight white male in the, in the 50s, right? Well, that brings me to Hollywood. I have some thoughts because we finished it. Let me make sure I'm not bronzing myself to a point of embarrassment. <laughs> I'm just scrolling up to see what I missed. Julie Maggie Maggie is saying Fenty bronze is the which one do you prefer the cream or the powder? I know you love your cream products. I don't know. I like them both. I like the butter biscuit because it's a little bit warmer and more like almost tropical feeling for me the cream is great the cream is great it's here i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you hold please so this is the cream okay this is the butter in butter biscuit this is shady biz which is the powder so you can see it's like a little warmer which i'm not mad about um but i like them both it just depends on what you prefer. Okay, so we finished Hollywood. I don't feel like I'm going to give any major spoilers because one, everything that happened, well, not everything that happened, but like it's basically about people who actually lived. So we know what happened to them in their lives, right? It's about these like icons from like 1947 Hollywood. Um, guys, this show is trash. It's actual like flaming hot leaking trash on the side of the road. And I don't you know, I don't say that lightly because I, you know, I don't want to be unkind. Um, but I can't, I can't hold back anymore. Like the, and it's like, it's amazing how like it get it gets every episode. It, Maricela, I liked it. Well, Maricela. I'm just going to keep bronzing. <laughs> I mean, it's fun trash. It's fun, but like, it just to, toward the end basically like it's a revisionist i mean i've talked about it on my other live streams but basically like um you know ryan murphy is going back and changing the course of history which i think can be effective sometimes like we've talked about you know once upon a time in hollywood and um uh inglorious, inglorious bastards. bastards right like 
changing one thing about history that was quite frankly terrible and we're not mad if we if it would change right but like ryan murphy went back and changed whatever the hell he wanted for this and i just I've, I've actually been reading a lot of articles about it and a lot of reviews it's getting totally panned the idea of it is cool right it's a very like idealistic rose colored glasses like you know, what if it was okay to be gay? And what if it was okay to be a minority back then? Like, yes, we want, yes, yes, please. That would have been great. But that's not what happened. And so the show in essence is, it's kind of ironic because I feel like it's trying to be progressive. What it's actually doing is like erasing the stories of the people who actually had to go through those things. And they they survived and they came out of came out the other end and to just like kind of discredit that and be like, well, if you just would have spoken up and been like, I'm gay and I'm proud. See, see, it worked and everything's just fine. <laughs> like, it's so like, just kind of, I don't know. I can't with it. I just can't with it. Cause that's not the way it was. Because if you would have come out about those things or minorities, like black people, Asian people, all of that is covered and it's like, and they just spoke up and everything was remedied. <laughs> it's like, oh, actually what would have happened is their houses would have been burned down. They probably would have been lynched. Like, what? <laughs> that is like, no, no. And like people like Hattie McDaniel and, you know, um, Anna Mae Wong you know those were real people they were real people who lived those lives rock hudson if he would have come out as gay he wouldn't have been rock hudson we wouldn't have known who he was because they would have just completely like said just <laughs> suffocated his career basically so i just think it's really ridiculous and i can't i can't with it um it's also the schmackiest thing i've ever seen it's some of the worst acting I've ever seen. People all of a sudden have these like amazing, like horrible characters who are just like super shitty. All of a sudden they'll just have this turnaround. And they'll be like, I wanna do good. And it's like, what even is this? What is this? I expected more from Ryan Murphy, I just did. It's like, if you're gonna cover something as huge as 1940s, 1950s Hollywood, Everyone knows who Vivian Lee is. Everyone knows who these characters were. You have to kind of nail it. You know what I mean? You got to nail it or else it's like, so that's what you, that's who you cast as uh, Vivian Lee, huh? Okay. 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 So I just, I really, sorry, sorry for anyone <laughs> Who disagrees but I was like screaming into a pillow last night I was uh, I'm just glad no um Jamie Mayfield doesn't it belittle the actual difficulty of the reality I feel for people who don't know Hollywood I feel for people who don't know Hollywood will think it was realistic yeah too oh Julie Maggie I found you through Jen Loves Reviews and not only haven't missed a video yet but have watched probably 60 of your previous videos that's amazing thank you so much Julie um, yeah, I just feel like, wait, I'm reading all the comments. I'm reading all the comments. Jamie K, 100%. My mom lived in segregation in Miami, Florida until middle school. I'm only 40. It was not long ago. Don't erase those stories. Um, I just, it's, it was, yeah, I mean, that's all I'm going to say, because I'll, I'll wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up. But I do feel like it was, it's, it's kind of negating all of those things. Like those people worked their asses off and just to, it's oversimplified, I feel like. And I certainly can't speak to it because I'm not a person of color and I'm not gay, but like, I can imagine how that would feel to just, and I, and I do feel like you kind of have to when you're watching it, if you aren't like a walking Wikipedia page who knows everything that happened in these people's lives, 
you don't know whether it's real or not. You don't know if it's actually a story that's being told that happened or if it's something Ryan Murphy just woke up and decided he wanted to like throw in there. And I just, I don't know, should we be that careless? Mm, no, I don't think we should. Um, okay, wow, I really had some opinions on that. Let's keep bronzing. <laughs> just keep bronzing. <laughs> Jamie Mayfield, my friend's parents had to move to a different state to get married because they were interracial. It wasn't that long ago. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Bonnie, yes, we need to remember. We do. We do need to remember. And I feel like maybe, yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. Okay. So now, now, I'm gonna use my hourglass, my hourglass ambient lighting powder and diffused light, which is something, it's just like an extra step. It's not necessary, but you know, after the blush and the bronzer, I feel like it kind of just, you know, it gives a little bit of glow and like, we're just like blending, 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 blending here, right? like maybe like a little bit more bronzer though I'm sorry I'm just like I'm really thinking like maybe we just really take the extra step and get in there you know what I mean like maybe we just go whole hog yeah see I knew it Okay, perfect, yes, I feel like that's good now. Now, Leslie, my Aunt Leslie, when Natalie Cole performed in Las Vegas, he swam in the hotel pool and they drained it. Sounds about right, sounds about right. It wasn't that long ago, guys. It was not that long ago. Okay, so now, that we're like, we bronze for about 10 minutes. <laughs> now, we take a drink. Okay, so we've done that, we've done that, we've done that. Now we're gonna move on to eyes and I am gonna use the bronzer as an eyeshadow. Claudine Hardy, we should never get rid of that bad history because if we don't remember the bad of the past, we might be doomed to repeat it. Exactly. Teach children that people should be judged solely on character only. Faux show. Preach, y'all better preach. Okay, so now I'm just going to... Use, I'm using the Fenty um, Shady Biz on my eyes. This is my BK Beauty 206. This is like the perfect do it all, like one and done brush. I didn't link it below, sorry. But look at, if you go to, I do have a code, which is 10% off for BK Beauty, and you can go to her site and, um, you can buy it individually. It's it's kind of what I use for everything. <laughs> it's just perfect because you guys know I don't really love like a super complicated eyeshadow look. Jamie Mayfield, you better preach. But I do feel like the people that I thought were really good on the show, and there weren't very many, <laughs> but um, I, I loved uh, Joe Mantello. If you don't know who that is, he's like a very prominent director in New York City. Um, he also did The Normal Heart. He's the character who is the producer who's a closeted gay man, and I just think he's the best thing on the show. He's absolutely incredible. 
amazing. Like that's storytelling, you know what I mean? Like that's, that's genuine. That's, I believe that even in a ridiculous show. Um, I thought Jim Parsons, even though yes, there's some questionable plot twists, I thought he was fantastic. And I thought that's a role we've never seen him in. He plays, you know, kind of a despicable person for most of the show. And Patty Lapone, you know, I mean, Patty did Patty. Like, I'm not surprised. She's, you know, she kind of just does that, but it was good. It was good. Lauren Boyles, Jim Parsons was boyless. Jim pa Parsons was fabulous. Yes. Kim McConnell, when my parents, when my mom's parents got married in the 30s, they didn't tell anyone they were married for over a year because he was Italian and she was Irish. Wow. That is, wow. Yeah. Oh, and, and yes, Jim, pa Natalie said Jim Parsons was actually great in The Normal Heart, too. If you guys haven't seen The Normal Heart, I mean, it's very... It's very intense and very heavy, but it's great. It's on HBO. Pamela Willis. Yes, there will be haters, but we have to remember these terrible things so we can do better. $10. Leslie sent me $10. Cheers to cheese. Yes. Thank you, Leslie. Okay, so I'm going to pull a better off red now, okay? I don't always do this, but I, when I do it, I do enjoy it. This, I'm going to, again, take my Fenty, um, my Fenty and Shady Biz, taking like a more detailed brush, and I'm just going under my eye. She always does, she always, she also has like huge eyes, like huge, beautiful eyes, so it always looks really pretty on her, but I'm going to try to be like her tonight. Okay, perfect. Stephanie Rogers, also go subscribe to Better Off Red if you have not already. Yes, guys, I mean, how many times do I have to say it? If you haven't, I mean, it's like exhausting. If you haven't subscribed, I mean, look at your life and look at your damn choices. Debbie Rosales said 354 people are watching this and only 250 people have liked it. Get on it, people. Okay. Now I'm going to take, for all my cheap asses out there, you said it, not me. It was from a lot, the, one of the last live streams I did. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Eye Pencil in Brown. And I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not exciting. I'm not gonna say it's exciting, but it's one of my favorite eyeliners. It's super inexpensive and it goes on like butter. Grace Adams, not to be dramatic, but I want to marry the actor that played Roy. Roy, wait, are we talking about, oh, maybe I don't know what we're talking about anymore. <laughs> Julie said, oh my God, eyeliner, everyone hold your breath. I know you can tell I've gotten really quiet because I have to concentrate when I do eyeliner, even if it's just like a really simple eyeliner like this, because you know you can really mess up eyeliner, right? Like, but it makes such a difference. Like it's a difference between like 
sparser looking eyelashes and like super luscious looking eyelashes. Okay, so thank God that's done. It's Roy Rock Hudson. I don't know. If we're talking about Rock Hudson, oh, it is? Yeah. Okay. I mean, he was a sweet fellow. He was a very, very sweet lug, lug, lug of a lug, a lug, a lug, a hunk, a hunk, a hunk, a dummy, dum dums, noodle head fella. Um, and again, that's another thing that I've read a lot of criticism about that like, there's nothing that ever said that Rock Hudson was that dumb. Like it's just, it's just Ryan Murphy just decided to like do that. That's what I'm talking about. It's like, so we're just, we're just changing who people were now. Like these, okay. 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 Cool. Got it. Um, okay, so get excited guys. I am actually using a brand new mascara, okay? I am using, I went out on a limb. This is the L'Oreal Bambi Eye Mascara because I'm like, what is this Bambi Eye nonsense? Does it actually give you Bambi Eyes? Let's find out. And I've used it a few times and I do like it. I will say you have to be a little careful with the wand because it's so fat. And you can kind of easily like accidentally bump it in other places because it's kind of bulky, but, but I like it. It's good. It's good for a drug store, drug store mascara. Teresa Gouda gang said rock Hudson was dreamy. Yeah, that's, you know, I just say I haven't like, that's, that's something I have not seen a lot of rock Hudson movies, but we did watch some clips of him because I made a stop. Cause I was like, is rock Hudson really this bad of an actor? We have to know. And turns out he's not, he's not, he's just fine. He's not great. He's not bad. Okay, so I, here's the deal. I do like this. It's just, like I said, you have to be, it's, you know, you have to be careful. You have to be careful with it. But, um, oh, Stephanie Rogers, I just bought Monster Big. Now you're on to something else. I can't keep up. Oh, don't worry. No, Monster Big hasn't been forgotten. I just been using it for like forever. So, you know. I'm trying to mix it up, okay? I can't I can't be the person who's using the same mascara for like five months <laughs> on YouTube. You can be that person at home. I don't know that I can actually get away with being that person on YouTube. Okay, yeah, we need to see, I think I saw a giant when I was young and I need to see a giant. Yes, Rock Hudson is in giant. Um. In a pair, if you guys do watch or have watched Hollywood, the first episode is a little bit compelling. And it it's like the story of basically this, mm, Dylan McDermott runs this gas station that's actually, he's pimping out men for people to sleep with. And that was actually real, like it, I mean, it. That wasn't the character's name. It's kind of, it kind of changed it around, but that was a real thing that happened apparently. I think in the show it's called The Golden Tip. The Gold Tip, something like that. Just The Gold Tip. Oh, The Gold Tip. Okay, just The Gold Tip. Okay, well. No, I'm not saying that oh, it's actually. Oh, I know what you're saying. I know. It's, it's a play on just. Yes, I. I know. <laughs> I understand. I understand. Just the gold tip. Okay, so 
Oh my goodness, we're almost done with this damn mascara. Yeah, I like this. I mean, my favorite drugstore mascara is definitely the Lash Paradise. And I still like the wand on that better because it's all about the wand. You know what I mean? But, um, it's so good. I like it. I'm not mad about it. I wore this mascara in my last, like my last Sephora VIB haul video as well. Yvonne says, Ryan Murphy used names that would, wouldn't get him sued. The real story would have mentioned Cary Grant, Randolph Scott, Catherine Hepper, and many other. Well, why? He mentioned some pretty, like, big deals. Like, why? Why was it okay to talk about, you know, Vivian Lee and also cast someone who was, didn't look anything like Vivian Lee? I mean, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, <laughs> what was that about? Okay. I'm really like, I'll never, I'll never recover from that. Um, okay. So now we're done with the mascara. Oh my goodness. We're doing, you guys, we're getting, we're so close. We're so close. I need to find my brush that I do my brows with. Why didn't I? Oh, here it is. Okay, good. So I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade, which is sort of my new favorite find because I kind of forgot about it for like over a year, probably like more like two years. And if you guys have like a dried up product like that, you can rehydrate it with eye drops or you can use castor oil and it totally brings it back to life. <sighs> oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow. Katie Harris said, I found Bambi mascara gets better after it sits for a few weeks. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. So this is the, uh, this is medium brown. Again, everything is linked in the description box. I need to use a bigger mirror here. Katie 2 k I would have loved it too if Cary Grant pinched my tush. Wow, well, thanks for sharing. All right. No, 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 there's a story behind that. It's further up in the comments. Oh, there's another. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is out of context. I missed the story. I missed the story. I, I back it up, back it up, back it up. I take it back. Sarah Goldfarb says that Cary Grant pinched her grandma's butt. Oh. Well, that's disgusting. What the hell? Are you serious? That's, that's, is there another part of the story? She was into it though. Well, who wouldn't? Okay. Here's the thing. Who wouldn't be complimented by that? You know what I mean? It's like, it's like if, I don't know, Chris Hemsworth came up and, and pinched your butt, but also like, ew, no, like you might be happy about it, but I'm over here with the glasses down, glasses off and glasses thrown against the wall. Like if you heard about that and it wasn't your tush, you'd be like, ew, Chris Hemsworth, like what the hell? No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't, I mean like, yay, but no, <laughs> my dad, bye dad. He's leaving. He's like, I'm done. I'm done. Bye. Thanks for the super chat, dad. Love you. Bye. Wow, someone had to have a lot of shit deleted off of here. Good job, Randy. Keep it up. <laughs> uh... Apparently, I also blocked. 
Justin Bieber, so that's an accomplishment. You blocked Justin Bieber? Oh my God, Justin Bieber was here? Wow, I'm getting super popular. Justin Bieber can't resist some Fenty. You know what I mean? Like, I've heard that about him, actually. I'm kidding. I've never heard that. Okay, my God. The eyes are done. This took way too much concentration. Oh, I'm exhausted. Okay, what are people saying? Samantha, I don't like unconsensual, non-consensual tush touches personally. Yeah, it's not great. It's not great. Jamie Mayfield, Wander Beauty has the Unleashed Mascara, and I absolutely loved it if you want really fluffy, natural-looking lashes. Oh, that's good to know. That's good to know. Hmm. Okay, so... Now we're going to move on. Let me just close, put the top on that here. Now we're going to do lips. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in and I'm going to use, what is happening in the chat? <laughs> like I keep coming in and I'm just like, what the hell is going on in here? Okay, this is the strawberry dip. Again, I used it on my cheeks, I'm using it on my, my lips. Love a two in one. Okay, now I'm so excited about this because this is one of my favorite Fenty um, lip gloss, gloss bombs. This came in the Holiday Glossy Posse set and it's still out there. Like I thought they would discontinue it, but it was so popular that they've kept it around. So you can still get it on Sephora. Again, everything is linked below. It's so worth it, guys. I use these glosses all the time and I really wish they would release a full size of this. This is the shade Cheeky and it's this beautiful, obviously it's a beautiful like orange shimmery gloss. So, so beautiful. And it just goes on like butter. Like butter, I tell ya. Teresa said, is that drying on the lips? The gloss? No, girl. No. <laughs> it's like, it's like glossy butter, like olive oil I'm putting on my lips. It's so, so nice. Okay, so now we're almost done. We're almost done but we're gonna go back in with a little bit more blush. You know what I mean? Cause we gots to, we gots to. Just like right on the apple. Yes, we're at 405, 409 people. That's awesome. Sophia said, it's not drying at all. Actually makes my lips feel better after. Oh, Lauren, we're getting to the highlighter girl. You just wait, you just wait. Okay, okay, so we're giving you a very, like, a very sunburnt cheek situation. Going over it with the hourglass just to kind of, like, mute it a little bit. I like to go overboard and then mute it. Perfect, perfect. I love it. Now... I am going to do the highlighter. 
Kathy McManus. I bought the gloss bomb and glass slipper. I loved it, but it was huge leaking mess in my purse or my bathroom counter. Anyone else have trouble with it? Wow, I've never had trouble with I own about, I want to say eight of the gloss bombs and I've never had that issue. Sorry, Kathy. That's a bummer. Um, okay, so now last but not least, I'm going to go in with the only sort of highlight E-ish product I own from Fenty, which is still available. It is the um, Diamond Bomb and How Many Carrots, which is a super de duper. First of all, when you, it, it literally is the softest, most buttery feel on your fingers. It's the most fine sparkle ever. OMG, OMG. I mean, it's a very like sort of snow fairy, like glittery, gorgeous situation. I'm also going to be extra and put it on my lid. I'm going to just dust it all over because it's like that thin of a veil. Oh my God. This is, this is the lightest glitter I've ever found. my kind of glitter because I just a chunky glitter I just can't <laughs> Amanda Sanford angry voice so pretty it's so pretty it makes me angry and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to again just kind of go over it with, with whatever's left on my brush Boop. money spot And just make sure it's like nice and blended and there aren't any weird, weird ass hard edges. But like, what, 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 what? I mean, that one spot, the high point of your cheek, so good. So, so damn good. Guys, we've gotten up to 450 people here. This is amazing. So I'm going to say it again for all the people in the house who haven't heard it. If you please would be so kind as to give this a thumbs up. It super duper helps. And I would, I would just really appreciate you if you did that. So give this video a thumbs up. I am done. This is the finished look. And I love it. Like who would think, I mean, cause I, I pulled this out today and I was like, Oh, I don't know. It's so incredibly glittery, but it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. It's beautiful for a Luke. It's, you know, or like you're going out to dinner, like an event. It's, it's stunning. And like in a dim lighting situation, it's going to be bomb. Okay. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for joining me. This was a blast as always. Everything I've talked about, every damn thing is linked down below in the description box. Please throw this video a like. Please, if you aren't subscribed, get your ass over there to that red subscribe button and subscribe. Something I always forget to tell you guys, if you, if you would, please hit that subscribe. Uh, sorry, no. <laughs> Drunk. Please hit that bell the bell underneath the video. It's the notification bell. That is going to literally just send you one notification whenever I drop a new video. And I don't always drop a video on the same day at the same time. So it is helpful if you hit that. It helps me out. It helps you out. You know what I'm saying? Thank you guys so much for being here. I do these every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Today is Monday. So I'll be doing it this Wednesday. Please join me, grab a drink, and we'll see you then. One more drink for the road. Mm.